the Northern Medical Program has just turned 10 years old. It's a marriage between UNBC, UBC and the University of Victoria to train medical students. The first round of students are just now setting up shop and many are doing so in the North. It's a testament to the Northern Medical Program, graduates who have finished their training and have set up shop in the North. Ten years ago, the Northern Medical Program was merely a concept. It was very exciting. It was also terrifying because when I arrived, which was in July 2003, where we're standing now was grass. And the first job I had was to, was to you know, get involved in the ceremonial sod cutting of the ground. Dr. Dave Snadden was the first hire for the NMP. He had 18 months to build the facility, hire the staff, and create an admission plan for a most unique model for delivering medical education. In fact, they were unwitting pioneers in that field. We were the first in North America to have these distributed sites for four-year programs. There was some in the States which had half their program on a distributed site. But subsequent to that over the last decade, there are many, many medical schools in Canada and in the U.S. that have moved to our model and they've come to us for advice. Dr. Kathleen O'Malley is a graduate of the program. When she first looked into medicine, the Northern Medical Program was a no-brainer. Well, because I'm from here, it was nice to train in this community. It was a new program. I knew that they would have a good teacher-to-student ratio. Um, I just felt like it would be... Um, a unique experience. By attending medical school in rural and northern BC, she feels she gained a much broader education. It trains you better to work in smaller communities as well, I think, because you're, um, you see right from the get-go what the challenges are when you're in a smaller community, what specialties aren't here and what ones are, and you work around that. Whereas if you do all your training in a large centre, it's a much bigger challenge to go work in a small community. After a decade, the first students of the program are just beginning their medical professions, and the dream for the next 10 years is to do more. What I would like to see in the next decade is, is that, that being established, our, our students coming out as residents, as physicians, beginning to meet the needs of, of British Columbians, particularly those in rural areas. Dr. Snadden expects the program to mature, involving more research relevant to the region. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News. Tomorrow, members of the medical community will be among those attending the Bob Ewart Memorial Dinner, a fundraiser for the Northern Medical Programs Trust. The event features Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield as the keynote speaker and is completely sold out.